Imagine waking up one day to discover that the ground beneath Yellowstone National Park has risen significantly. What could this mean? Could it be a sign of a seismic shift or perhaps something more alarming? A phenomenon like this isn't just an everyday occurrence. It might lead us to question, is the legendary Yellowstone supervolcano stirring from its long slumber? Is a catastrophic eruption on the horizon? Or is there a less dramatic, yet equally fascinating, scientific explanation? Let's dive in to understand the science behind this phenomenon. Yellowstone National Park is famous for its geysers and hot springs, but did you know that these are signs of geothermal activity happening beneath the surface? This park is essentially a giant volcanic hotspot, and the ground is heated from below by molten rock, or magma, that lies a few miles beneath the surface. This heat fuels the park's famous geysers, hot springs and mud pots. But it's not just about the heat. This underground activity also causes the ground at Yellowstone to rise and fall over time. Imagine a pot of soup on a stove. As the soup heats, the ingredients start to move around, some sinking, some rising. The ground at Yellowstone behaves in a similar way due to the movement of the magma beneath it. Beneath the park, lies a giant magma chamber, a vast reservoir of molten rock. This magma chamber is not a giant lake of molten rock, as one might imagine. Instead, it's a sponge-like structure within the rock, filled with pockets of molten material. The size, pressure and movement of this magma can cause the ground above to rise and fall. When the magma chamber fills with molten rock, it expands, pushing the ground above upwards. This is what we see as the rising ground at Yellowstone. Conversely, when the magma chamber empties, due to a release of magma elsewhere, the ground can sink back down. This ground movement is not a rare occurrence. In fact, it's a regular part of the park's geothermal activity. Scientists use sophisticated equipment to monitor these changes as they can provide important clues about what's happening beneath the surface. So, the rising ground is a sign of the Earth's activity beneath our feet. But does this mean we are gearing up for a volcanic eruption? Beneath Yellowstone's beautiful landscapes lies a sleeping giant, the Yellowstone supervolcano. This colossal force of nature is one of the largest active volcanic systems on our planet. Its history is etched in the vast caldera, a volcanic crater measuring about 34 by 45 miles, which serves as a stark reminder of the supervolcano's past eruptions. This supervolcano has erupted three times in the last two million years, with the most recent eruption occurring approximately 640,000 years ago. These eruptions were of such magnitude that they dramatically reshaped the landscape and influenced global climate. But what about the future? Could the Yellowstone supervolcano erupt again? The answer is, theoretically, yes. However, predicting exactly when is a complex task. The rising ground in Yellowstone could be an indication of magma movement deep beneath the surface. But it's essential to remember that the ground rises and falls regularly in Yellowstone, a phenomenon known as ground deformation. And it doesn't necessarily mean an eruption is imminent. Scientists at the United States Geological Survey and Yellowstone Volcano Observatory keep a close watch on these changes. They use sophisticated equipment to monitor seismic activity, ground deformation, gas emissions and other geologic changes. Their work helps us understand the Yellowstone supervolcano better and provides us with early warning signs of potential eruptions. It's also worth noting that even if an eruption were to occur, it wouldn't necessarily be a catastrophic event. Smaller eruptions are far more common and would be less destructive than the massive eruptions that occurred hundreds of thousands of years ago. So, while the rising ground can be concerning, it's not necessarily a sign of imminent danger. So, what does all this mean for us and the world's most famous national park? We've journeyed through the geothermal mysteries of Yellowstone, the rising ground that has sparked curiosity and concern, and the potential for a volcanic eruption that has the world on edge. But it's important to remember that while the rising terrain can be an indicator of volcanic activity, it doesn't necessarily mean an eruption is imminent. In the grand scheme of geologic time, changes can happen over thousands, even millions of years. The ground beneath Yellowstone has been rising and falling for millennia, a testament to the dynamic and ever-changing nature of our planet. There's a delicate balance at play here, 
a dance between the forces of creation and destruction that have shaped the Earth since time immemorial. And while the thought of a supervolcano eruption can be daunting, it's also a reminder of the incredible power and beauty of nature. Our understanding of these processes continues to grow, thanks to the tireless efforts of scientists who monitor Yellowstone and other active geothermal sites around the globe. They keep a vigilant watch, probing the Earth's secrets, learning from its whispers and roars. For now, we can only continue to marvel at the extraordinary natural phenomena that Yellowstone has to offer, while scientists keep a close eye on the sleeping giant beneath.